have you ever felt? This is Fly Time with Uncle Ken. Okay, we're just going to get started here. We got ourselves a pointy hook in this here hook holder. Okay, we got ourselves a, a hook with a real nice big old barb on it. It's been a while, been out trapping coons and such, but anyway, I stole the shirt from Cheech. I just wear this one to change my oil in my truck. Anyway, what we got here, first we're going to do, I lost my good vice, so I got to use this junker, and I'm just going to take the hook, and we're going to hide it. So, again, don't hurt, but poke it. Use a lot less uh, blood that way. Uh, we got a fancy thread holder. I like the yellow one. If you, if you don't have a yellow one, your fly just ain't going to work. Anyway, you heard a... Uh, a lot of talk about them uh, mop flies. We're going to kind of one up them because them fellers are using these little things. That ain't even nothing. I mean, I can't even get uh, any smelly jelly to stay up in there. We're talking about mass and quantity. So, we got ourselves a U.S. made product, 100% cotton. Made in the USA, cushion head, cotton mop. We don't use them in the house, but look how long they are. Look at how long they are. This is what we're going to make a mop fly out of. So, uh, we're going to put some on. What was my tool? Okay, so you got to use one of these things. Put it on there. So hold it. And you kind of just put it around the whole thing like that and then if you let go of it it'll just stay right in place that's patent pending it's my business it ain't yours so don't even try it so we're gonna just try to get it to stop to spinning on me a lot of times I like to use this uh, blue horde head and what happens is that'll seep right in there those fish will think it's the sky, it's, you know, sky bluish color. And if you don't glue every step, that fly is not going to stay together. I ain't kidding you. Then we're just going to take our sewing thread up to the front, right here. And then uh, take one of these uh, fishing spoons. And we're going to just pop it right on there. It'll stay. And a lot of times, this back hook here, you just kind of clanks on the hook like, like that. And uh, keeps you from hanging on the rocks. Okay, this part that nobody understands. Cheech don't know it. Curtis don't know it. Uh, all them fancy feathers on the Insta webs and the tweakers. They don't know it. But what we're going to do is we're going to take us some wire. This stuff is made for electricity. Not that uh, fancy stuff y'all use. And I am going to take a section of it. And I am going to make a loop. Just like that. I'm going to take my other hook that I'm going to put on here. Eye to eye. And then this is where most guys ain't doing it right. You just take them uh, wire nuts. Put them together like that. It ain't too hard. And a lot of times you they, they don't really want to take so good. So I usually have my wife because she's a journeyman electrician. Anyway, you just twist them on there. And then you can use all different kinds of electrical tape. You just stick her on like that. Yeah. The dip more colors you use, the better it is. Yeah. That's how sharp them are. 
So here's another trick. You will poke yourself. Just dab that right on there. Now we've got a red, white, and blue fly out of American hardworking blood, blue collar. All righty. Okay, so we're ready for it. Well, kind of fix that. One. Next one we're going to do, you just do the old swaparoo like that. And these are our two trailers. So a lot of people don't really know how to get that started. And you just, since we already got the other one tied in there, she'll work just like that. So now, basically, wait, how did I do that? You're gonna tie it on there like that. And now, doesn't matter where the fish eats this, he's gonna get a hook right up in his face. Uh, and Curtis don't know this fly. Very good. I'm gonna wrap her forward and take a little bit more of the mop. And this stuff's cheap, you don't have to skimp on it. And so our, our trailer section's on there. Boom. Gotta throw it. A half hitch on there so he had this thing this is a new whip finisher so it's real nice you, you take a magnet to boom magnetic look ain't even holding it stays on boom comes off goes on comes off so I'm just gonna get rid of that other part I don't really know what this one's for and I'm just gonna take this here and make a half hitch and now we are solid Oh, another part. We are going to glue it. Okay, the next sections we're just going to put a few more hooks on here. So we'll just kind of speed up the process and uh, keep you updated. all right as you can see we got our trailer section we got ourselves three hooks in the middle just gonna let those hang over by the bias right there and now i'm ready to to start finishing up so a lot of people at this point you know they build a fancy head or put some weight on there but we got ourselves a better decision to make here a better mouse trap we've built we can take another piece of these uh this mop I'm gonna tie a little bit more on there. The more mop you get, the more your scent you're gonna soak up. Put a little bit more on there. Now, this is where the secret comes in. Nobody knows about this. People are cutting them mop things off like, like you know, what are you gonna do, make a unicorn horn out of it? No. So what you're gonna do, is you are going to make a mop zonker strip. Now, I have patent pended this. This is called the momper strip right here. And I am going to tie it in the back. Right here. And we are going to take it and wrap it around the hook chain all the way up to the front and we're going to tie that in this this thing ain't even worth a dang I don't even know why people use them I'll just hold the thread in my hand right there Okay, this part right here, it's still good. It's like that part on a rooster that hangs down. You don't want to cut it off or it ain't no good no more. So we're just going to wrap that back over. More absorption of that smelly jelly. 
The next step is to use our whip finisher. But before we do that, we gotta use our gauge on our mop to make sure they're about right. That's pretty good. And we'll brush it out. I don't even know why that's on the table. use this this is an expensive half hitch tool whip finisher whatever you want to call it now sweet tarts chewy perfect shape of a bullet head we're gonna take one of them and it goes on right here right over the front see that the fish can see the hook eye right here you see it? It's important that that does not show. We're going to pull it over. This fly has the Uncle Ken guarantee. You will catch a fish. You will catch many fish. And it will catch you a fish on your first cast. So give her a tie. Yeah, just make sure you follow me. Uh, I don't do any of that internet stuff. And if you see uh, Uncle Cheech or freaking Curtis, tell them that they suck.